15 minutes on the clock. Welcome. We're talking about the Toronto Blue Jays. They went 91 mm. and 71 last year, but did miss the playoffs. I forgot how close that was at the end. Um, that was really exciting. They are finally playing all their games in uh, Toronto. Other teams will not be able to bring some of their unvaccinated players to Toronto, giving them uh, somewhat of an advantage, kind of. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Everyone about to do do. They're the darling right now, mm. which makes me think they're not going to do good simply because they're the darling. Right. The off-season darling has rarely been the in-season darling. It's the only thing I have in my head that's like, eh, this doesn't add up. Mm. But they're so, the roster is so fun to look at. Jake, they lost some fucking guys and they gained some guys. Can you tell everyone about it? I mean, Trevor Plouffe's guys' guys got added at the end here. Uh, Marcus Simeon, uh, an all-time season from a second baseman, and he set the tone for that team. Uh, he's now in Texas, and he got the bag, Trev. Let's get dinner with him sometime. Robbie hmm. Ray, another bag. A Cy Young, he gone. Steven Matz, really nice year last year. He's in St. Louis. Randall, the fuck, Grichik, he is now... On your Colorado Rockies, Corey Dickerson, he gone. Kirby Yates, he gone, but he didn't really play. Uh, Gunnar Hogland, Kirby Sneed, Kevin Smith. You might not be familiar with those guys. Young Bloods, because they were in a big trade to get Trev's dude. Matt Chapman will be on the hot corner for the Toronto Blue Jays. Kevin Gossman trying to fill the shoes of Robbie Ray the best he can, and his numbers weren't far off last year. You say, and I say, Kikuchi, Jim's dude. He'll be there five. That's a nice five. Uh, Raymond Tapia came over in the Grichik trade. Uh, Yimi Garcia, he'll be in the pen for them. And Trev, this rotation, a sneaky top five in baseball, something like that. Uh, if these guys click... Um, Man, with the offense, it's just it's a strong team. Give me give me the hurlers. You know how I feel about this first guy, mm -hmm. Jose Barrios, mm -hmm. my guy. Uh, head in the rotation along with Kevin Gaussman. Ryu is there. Alec Manoa. Talk about darlings. This guy's gonna turn into a stud. Just watch it and see. And your guy, James, you say Kakuche over there rounding out the rotation. That's a solid, solid five right there. Moving on to the bullpen. They have some guys we really, really like here. Jordan Romano, Yimmy Garcia, Tim Miza, Adam Simber, Julian Mayweather, Trevor Richards. Not to mention Nate Pearson, who mm. we'll see what he does. He was supposed to be like the ace of this staff, kind of in the bullpen. Maybe he'll be a swing guy. Maybe they bring him back to the rotation. Who knows? Ross Stripling is there as well. So they have depth, a lot of good pitchers there. But I think we're all... Just looking at this lineup, James, and just drooling a little bit, right? Yeah. They bang. They bang. That song. George Springer. Ricky Martin. George Springer. Vladdy. Silver Daisy winner. Teoscar Hernandez. Bo Bichette. Alejandro Kirk. Lord is Guriel Jr. Matt Chapman. Kevin Biggio. Danny Jansen. I will say this. It's awesome. How many guys in that starting nine that I just read come from the Blue Jays? Six of them. Six of the nine amateur free agents or homegrown. That's really cool. You got George Springer and Chapman, obviously. Tay Oscar, how many how many how much run did he get before they traded for him? Uh not a ton. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. like, quick, right? Yeah. That's awesome. I, I appreciate that. Uh, their bench is nothing. If you're looking for any, like, sight unseen, Toppy is a fun ball player. Like, he can fill in at outfield for a little while. And Yes. Yes. Uh, but, I'm, I mean, I'm searching for, like, you know, everything looks kind of really nice. Manoa's yeah. stuff is dirty. Like, nasty. Um... So, yeah, this is a good team. I, I said this, Trev, while you were, I don't know if you had your headphones still in, but the only fault I'm finding with this team is that the offseason darling and the Vegas favorite never very rarely pans out. 
I, I agree with that. And, you know, they were the offseason darling, but they also they were also good last year. It's not like they were like crappy and then just signed a bunch of players a la the Texas Rangers. Like they have they have, you know, some guys who really put up numbers last year. So Yeah, but they missed the playoffs. They won I, 90 games and missed the playoffs. Like, I mean, they were good for their expectations last year. Ninety one games last year, right? They won. Game out. I have this team in front of the Rays, who we're going to talk about next. I, I think this is one of the more complete teams um, in the big leagues. I think that's fair. Um, I, I I also love the fact that they have a bunch of homegrown guys. I'll give him to Oscar Hernandez. He played 40 games for Houston before he came over. Like, Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know? yeah. I, I, I really like that. Um, I like that they've been aggressive in going in acquiring starting pitchers, uh, whether it be via trade or free agency. That's the name of the game, man. You have to have that, and they do have that now. And I think they have really good depth there. So, I mean, maybe, yeah, you're talking about the bench maybe being a problem, but, you know, with the DH, the bench is going to be less and less. No, I'm talking about injury. Um, like used, I guess. They do have a catching prospect who's their number one prospect who's supposed to be here, uh, Gabriel Moreno. What's up with Alejandro Kirk? Like, they got him DHing right now. My thick king. He's going to DH. Is, is Moreno, like, who? Is he going to be there, like, soon? I honestly, I, I don't, you know, prospects guy Jake, I, I don't have everything on Moreno. You're right, top 10 guy, uh, you know. In the game. Yeah, I, I interested to see. Does he become an asset? They've loved Danny Jansen. His, Danny his Jansen's pit, a good player. His pitch framing or whatever they measure, they, they must love in Toronto. Uh, same with Reese McGuire. Like, those guys have kind of been doing it for them for a few years now as young catchers in the league with the option of Alejandro Kirk. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Moreno's a dude or if he's trade bait. But, um, yeah, that's something you circle for this Blue Jays season to see what, what that means. Disgusting. Jim said disgusting into the mic. Is that Colin McHugh's description of you? Look at their batting orders for the month of. Oh, no. July or, or, or whatever the sixth month of the year is. We got a routine batting order. The same. Same six. Same five. The same five. Yeah. Every single game besides two. Oh, baby. Hey, don't you guys work for the Yankees now? Can't you? Uh, Honestly, like I, that? we have some connections now that yeah. like I've never abused ever, and I might just start sending them pictures of this. Yeah. <laughs> Toronto Blue Jays were first in OPS last year, second in batting average. And Jim, I, I do know what you're saying. Like the Blue Jays, they didn't technically make the dance last year. Uh, they'll have a full season of Barrios. Uh, they should have a full season of Manoa. Uh, so there's there's a little bit of a pitching boost. George Springer, man, this guy is a freak of nature. It doesn't get talked about enough. He was hurt last year. Trev, seventy eight games. He hit twenty two homers. Like he he constantly does it. Teoscar Hernandez gets overlooked. Uh, Bo Bichette, Vladdy, like. Uh, these guys think they're next. They think it's their time. They are peacocking a little bit. They're peacocking a little bit, but I understand Oh, they're why. not peacocking a little bit. They're peacocking though. hard. A lot. They're peacocking hard in a tough division. I'll preface this. I think this is one of the most complete teams we've done uh, as far as uh, lineup, defense, speed, like the offensive profile. I think they have a, a lot of it, and, and it's really good. The starting pitching, I think they have great depth. I like all the starters. The bullpen, also really good. I think it's one of the most complete teams we've done. They're getting too much hype. Baseball's hard. Weird <laughs> shit happens. And I don't think they're light years better than the other three teams in the division. And baseball's weird and baseball's hard and injuries happen. And until the Rays get beat, mm. the Rays are better than you. So... Can they finish first? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. And like I said, I think it's one of the most complete teams. But the hype machine has me scared. Because you look around, and everyone's on the Blue Jays. Yeah. Everyone. And Blue Jays fans are acting like they accomplished something when they haven't yet. Vladdy Jr.'s quote. You saw the preview. Now it's time for the movie. I think that's what they're... It's a good quote. I got, I'm, I'm happy they're confident. It's, it's the, the whole thing they got going on. 
And it's the exact way you rebuild. So, like, it's awesome. I'm just scared of how much hype they're getting. Mm. I'm, I'm drinking the hype, if I'm being honest. Um, I like it. Uh, their offense is so good that they're going to get a starting pitching effort every day. That's just, I mean, almost lo- like, has there been lower pressure starting pitching? <laughs> like, if you go out and you give up three earned runs, I think you're going to be fine. Like, the offense has you that day. Um, I, I believe, uh, like, I, I said it in my wrong prediction last year. I think Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a special, special ball player. Um, you know, pencil. He's projected, again, a website, Fangraphs, that's nervous to project people. 305, 391, and 45 homers. Um, Teoscar and Springer are penciled in for 34. Trev, I'll, I'll kick it to you on this. Uh, I mean, defensively, I think this is a strong team, especially now that Matt Chapman, a guy that you say adamantly, when he has his best offensive season, whether it's, you know, a high eights, a low nine, something like that, you believe he will be an MVP winner. Um, the formula's there. The one thing I could complain about is you'd like another lefty bat, um, and you wonder if, uh, you know, Kirky in that DH spot could a could a Conforto land there or a, a trade piece at the deadline like there is room for that. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'm I'm drinking it. I, I I believe in these Jays. Being in Toronto, there should be good juice there. Like I, I'm in. If they held the opponents to three runs or less last year, they would have won a hundred games. Okay. Where where are we at with the whole COVID thing in in Toronto? Because I've heard different things on that. I've heard that that's there's exception for businesses. I've heard there's not exceptions acceptance exceptions, and that we aren't going to have guys there. So I think mean, that's a big storyline. I am uh, not entering it into my brain or thinking about it. And when games start, I'll just hear what happens. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like it's uh, uh, Matt Chapman. I made that reference before Shohei Otani. Did what he did. I think it's going to be really tough for anybody to unseat him. But when Chapman goes off this year, I believe he'll be like a top five MVP getter, vote getter. Mm. Feeling healthy. You add that to that lineup. And I think, honestly, it's one of the reasons I think that I'm going to pick them over the Rays in this division. I think they're so, like, they're just deep. If he's going to hit seven for you, and like Fangrass has him projected for 31 homers. Nice. That is nice. They're really good. Really good. Um, What's their over under? Vladdy recorded 274 hard hit balls at 95 plus mile per hour exit velo. <laughs> what? Gets the ball hard. What? What's their markup there? Vlad Guerrero Jr. recorded 274 hard hit balls at 95 plus mile per hour exit velo in 2021, the most of any player in a single season in the Statcast era. I've never seen 94 used as a benchmark. 95, 274 at 95 plus. 274, okay. 95 plus, you hit the ball hard, baby. And James, here I'll give you something else you might like. Ooh. Before before we go to the over under, 92 and a half, I believe, is what it is. All of their regulars in their lineup, all under 30 except for George Springer. And most of them, like, 24 to 27. Like, these boys are ready to play. There's a lot of T level there, very high T level, a lot of juice, ready to go. The vibe is just right for me. I really, really like these guys. I'm, pick, I'm taking the over. I'm just going to throw it out there right now. 92 and a half, not enough. This is a 95-win team. Bang the over. You know who was second in the hard hit over over – 95. Judge would be my guess, but. No. Uh, Salvador Perez. Mm. Mm. He hit a couple last year, huh? 255. Trev, I'm with you on the over. This well, team this team is in go mode. 92 and a half. Like, I think they're going to make moves at the deadline. Like, they are all in. They have the Barrios extension. They have young guys for cheap. They signed Gossman, like. Uh, it's it's go time in Toronto. I, I like what you said, 95-ish, uh, and it's just going to be a question if Boston or New York or Tampa gets more juice.
Just thinking about and it. No, nah, thinking about the it. over. Okay, but my math isn't going to make sense. Okay, because on the Yankees, I just didn't take the under. You didn't take the under. I didn't take the under. You did not take the over for the Yankees either. <laughs> gets tricky. It gets tricky. I didn't hear anything said about that. You didn't hear anything said about that. I didn't. I didn't even say the words. That's the Blue Jays.